Welcome to the Pet Health Junkies podcast. As a pet parent, you face more challenges with your dogs and cats today than ever before in history. What's the best food to feed? How do I prevent illness and help them live longer? Maybe you currently have a pet living with disease or behavioral issues and you need a different approach for success. Welcome to the Pet Health Junkies podcast. We're so happy you're here. Pam Roussel is a holistic health practitioner specializing in holistic health for animals. Janet Cesarini is a healthy pet store owner and advocate for health through nutrition. Jessica Fisher is a pet parent coach and positive reinforcement dog trainer. Join us as we share our stories, experiences, and all that we've learned to change the way we think about raising our pets. We're breaking it all down and making it simple by sharing how we help pet parents just like you every day. Because when we know better, we can do better. What's up, Junkie? If you are anything like us and you're here, so I know you are, then you are obsessed with pet health. On behalf of myself, Pam and Janet, we're your pet health junkies. We're thrilled to have you and we can't wait for you to hear the episodes we have coming up. Because of that, we wanted to give you a little teaser <laughs> with what is to come. So, you know, coming back around last summer, my husband, I came home from the store and he had this package on the counter and it was three tubs, you, you know, the size of these, you know, amazing allergy chews. Is your dog licking? Are they scratching? Well, every dog in central Texas almost <laughs> is going to be scratching and itching at some point unless we get that gut in order first, which is going to be another topic that we all talk about. But anyhow, he took it upon himself. He saw something on Facebook online that was like screaming at me, buy two, get one free. So $90 later, he has these chews in our house. And my, my response was, you're married to a woman who owns a natural pet food store and you did what? <laughs> I mean, the irony of that. Can you send these <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Yeah. So he's like, well, I mean, I'm like, no, no argument in the judge in the court, you know, would, um, would side with you. No. And I, and I said, okay, you know, after I got off my high horse and I'm like, let's see what this is about. We'll call it research. So I, um, dig into the ingredients and the the active and the inactive. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it was about, I think it was 120 milligrams um, per serving, per chew. And so I did the math. 116 milligrams were inactive ingredients. Mm -hmm. Four milligrams were active. Yeah. Why did we spend $30 on this tub of junk. Yeah. I don't even remember what the active ingredient was, but that's the kind of research that we all do mm -hmm. before we bring a product into our store. I don't even think that I have a chew that costs $30 a container. And if I do have it in my store, it's going to be full of healthy, holistic, natural, you know, ingredients. Yeah. yeah. So, um, it's just, it's a lot of flash. It's a lot of marketing. It is no secret that your pet co's and your pet smarts and are, they have come full circle. And by that, I mean, they want the entire life cycle of our pets. I can tell you as a pet parent years ago, when I was learning, I, I had to do, I had to listen to a lot of professionals. Like I went to Dr. Karen Becker's site and I started digging into the articles and then I would look up other holistic vets and see what they had to say about a particular subject. Um, 
I learned muscle testing and I would muscle test what the vet recommended and would narrow down options accordingly based on that. And that was a game changer because then it's not, a, you know, it's not throwing darts, you know, at a dartboard and hoping you get a bullseye. It's like, no, it's, it's a definite yes or no. <laughs> you know, so that helped me a lot. That being said, I do coach a lot of pet parents, cat parents mostly, when I work with clients and just because the information I give them is overwhelming because it is so much information, stuff that they would never get from their vet because it's an energetic analysis of everything that resonated with imbalance in that cat's body, okay, um, or a stressor in their environment. Everything is it's going to pick up. So when you present that kind of information, I have to prepare them and say, it's going to feel a little overwhelming, but you have to just do one thing at a time. And I list things, I list recommendations in the order of what's most important that you do right away and then work your way down the list. And then, you know, I think people have to remember that they have to give themselves some, some grace you know, it's not always financially possible to do everything and implement everything at once. And it certainly um, can be time, cons there can be time constraints. So it can be very hard to, you know, start to do everything all at once. So I just tell people, start, pick one thing, do one thing and feel comfortable doing that one thing and then start then go through, you know, all the things that you want or you feel that is necessary, um, whether you're a client or, you know, not a client in a store, whatever, just pick one thing and start there. But if you get frozen in fear, you are paralyzed and you, you don't do anything. You're just kind of like in limbo and you are stuck. Um, and that prevents a lot of people from moving and making a decision. So True. pick one thing that you can start with, that you feel comfortable with, make a change, and then give yourself some time to adjust and give your pet some time to adjust to that. And then when you feel like, okay, I can take on another step, take on another step. Um, you just have to come at it with, with some, um, what's the word? You have to be pragmatic, I guess. You have to be yes. logical about it, you know? Yeah, logical. It's very easy. It's very easy to get overwhelmed, but we yeah. don't have to be overwhelmed. That's, yeah. that's, that's on us. And to just talk really quickly about, you know, as you were going over the label, everything that you talked about before you got to the ingredient list, none of that is regulated by the FDA. Nope. So the only thing that you spoke about that's actually regulated is the ingredient list mm -hmm. and the calories per, mm -hmm. per cookie. Right. So yeah, the guaranteed literally analysis. everything else that made you grab that bag mm -hmm. is not regulated. So I know I'm not saying that that's a bad treat by any no. means, but just so people understand everything that is making you grab that bag, mm -hmm. there's no regulation to that whatsoever. They can say whatever mm -hmm. they want. <laughs> yeah. That's and they what, can use you know, pictures of whatever they I'm, want. I'm glad you called that out. You're absolutely right. And you know, we don't carry a lot of biscuit treats in my store. We carry a lot of single source protein, a lot of freeze dried protein, a lot of freeze dried organs like liver, lung and heart. Um, and so this is one of the few biscuits I carry because it has a limited ingredient panel. And, um, you know, the calories could be a little bit lower, but this also is a big enough treat that can be broken in half. But I like the ingredient panel despite everything else being marketing and yeah. 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 And, but it is just so important for a consumer to understand that everything yes. that is drawing your eye to that bag, all of the buzzwords on the front of a package. And I'm kind of going back to Susan Thixton's article that I mentioned earlier on the front of a package. The only thing required is the brand name, and for food, it has to list that, you know, is it for adult? Is it for puppy? Is it all life stages? If it is complete nutrition and then what it is. So like if it's beef or if it's a, a chicken meal or chicken dinner or, you know, those, those words that we can talk about later. <laughs> and then like how much is actually contained in the packaging. 
And that's really all that's required on the front. Everything else on the front of that package, if it's a picture of a cut of steak or a picture of some beautiful ripe fruit, um, whatever it may be, if it says, you know, all natural, no wheat, no, you know, grain free, whatever else it says is all, it may be true, but it's all marketing and not at all regulated. Yeah. Like there's that balance there that we need to have. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, that's really, that's part of what personalized medicine is about as well, is not only mm-hmm. sp- personalizing specific treatments, but also asking the patient, and in this case, the the pet parent, the guardian, to be responsible for the health of that individual. And so this is why I love that you said the accountability piece. Like we can control how much we learn. We can control how we show up in life. We can control whether or not we yell at someone or we (laughs) shut our mouth and we think about it before we actually start you know, going at someone and we think about, well, okay, what's the flip side of this, right? Maybe there is a sick and dying animal. Maybe they had to rush to surgery. Maybe they just got like a hit by car animal. That will take precedence over your itchy pet. And you would hope for the same if you were in that situation too. So now that you've heard the teasers, we hope you are as excited as we are for the launch of the first episode on December 6th. Whatever podcast app you are listening on, make sure to give the show a follow so that you can be notified every time a new episode airs. Again, the first full length episode will be dropping December 6th. Also, whether you do it today or you want to listen to an episode or two to make sure it's what you really like to hear, make sure you do give the show a five-star review. Why? Because that is how these podcast apps know to recommend the show to other people like you. And we need your help to get this message out to more and more pet parents because ultimately, We just want to help more pets and we need your help to do that. So again, make sure to give the show a follow and a five-star review. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We can't wait for the show to drop on December 6th, just like I know you can't. But until then, do check out the website, pethealthjunkies.com. There, you're going to find additional resources on how to follow and get in touch with myself, Pam, and Janet. But also, we have some free downloadables and resources there for you as well that you are not going to want to miss. So again, go to PetHealthJunkies.com, sign up for your free resources, and make sure to give all of us a follow individually. Until December 6th, make sure to give some extra love to your pets from the Pet Health Junkies.